A familiar sound for the Diamondbacks' leadoff hitter, spewing from familiar faces. I'm his mother. <laughs> I'm his father. Several familiar faces. The people that I know of, probably around 30. Many of the same people who were in the room when his name was called seventh overall in the 2017 draft. Steven Smith. Dad got the first hug draft night, but mom was the first to find out the Palm Beach Gardens alum made the 40-man roster this season. He sent me he sent me a song and a video, and the song was, Look, Mom, I've Made It. Which kind of ticked me off that I wasn't included in that. <laughs> <laughs> no hard feelings because Pavin was feeling the love this week. It's nice having some, some loved ones there and, you know, be able to hang out with them. Typically a first baseman, Paven Smith trotted out at center field in this week's three-game series at Lone Depot Park. His first major league game in his home state and against the team he grew up cheering for. You know, they won the World Series in 2003, and it was, it was a fun time. I was, I think, seven years old, but uh, no, it's pretty cool getting to play the team I grew up uh, rooting for, and now I don't want them to do as well. <laughs> Smith and his Diamondbacks would end up losing the series, but that plays into one of the biggest ways he's developed as a player since he was swinging the bat for the Gators. Learning how to deal with failure, because uh, in high school, you know, you kind of have success, you know, pretty much every game, and it's a lot harder up here, so being able to, you know, go to the minor leagues, deal with some failure, try to you know, overcome that to be able to reach this spot has helped me you know, get through, you know, some bad times even up here. His former high school head coach Joe Russo also made the drive up to see him in person. Probably more nervous watching him now than I, I was when he was with with us, you know, because you just want him to do so well, and, and he's doing great. The lefty has three home runs and 11 RBI on the year and two glowing supporters who are just proud to see their son play on the biggest stage. Seeing him in that stadium, like, it hit me. Uh, let's see, what do the athletes always say? It's surreal. <laughs> it's crazy, it really is.